Good morning traders, Joseph here from ACAP. Welcome to this week's Trade in the Zone Asian session update. So firstly, uh, we're just looking at the uh, pound dollar in front of us, but we will just want to touch on uh, US indexes last week. So we saw further good gains to cap out the week. Uh, the Dow added 0.66%, the uh, S&P added 1.54%, and NASDAQ led the way, adding 2.29%. The VIX also lost 4.33%, and the uh, stocks Euro stocks uh, 50 led the gains in Europe, adding 1.52%. This morning we've seen the ASX open up stronger as uh, we sort of hoped or expected with uh, those strong leads. So it's 1.12% uh, higher, and I'll uh, be looking to see if they can continue on through today. Now, um, the dollar is up uh, 0.7%. That's very close to where it finished the week. And um, one thing to, to uh, keep an eye on is one of the Fed's favourite uh, inflation uh, indexes, the core PCE. Uh, that did edge up higher to end last week, but prices are starting to see as slightly easing. So is that a, a sign that inflation is starting to uh, get under control? Definitely not, um, with oil still uh, pushing higher, which is having a knock-on effect to a lot of areas. But uh, some analysts are seeing it as a small positive in um, the inflation front and on the, uh, the prices front. So this morning so far, we did see the Aussie pushing higher. We are seeing a bit of a stall at the moment. And um, we'll continue to uh, just see if the Aussie can pick up some momentum that it saw early this morning. And uh, the euro is slightly lower at this stage. We do see a bit of resistance here and um, that level to watch um, just through to this morning's Asian session to see if we can get a retest is uh, that 107.37 to 40 area. The pound, um, similar to the euro, had a uh, fade to end last week um, and the resistance area we are watching for the pound is at that uh, 26.31 to 35 area. Um, the CAD continued to push lower, the dollar CAD, and that was after um, oil continued to move higher last week. We did see a nice break of that uh, low and setting up this just push lower. There is a bit of demand around this area, but I think a lot will come down to the dollar and oil to see if it can find um, momentum but yeah definitely this trend for now still remains lower and it's uh, reflected as well on the USD so we can see that trend there and we did see that break of uh, last week's low and uh, this minor support here after a bit of a test and a fail but it did see a bit of a buyback off lows on Friday so definitely have to keep a, a bit of an eye on the dollar if it can get a little bit of momentum or if we're going to see a new push lower from sellers today if risk can continue to move higher now, gold is um, slightly lower at this point. Uh, we did see a bit of a push higher, but there was a uh, pretty decent fade to uh, finish Friday's session, and gold remains pretty range-bound, even though it is in this small uh, trend higher. And now moving on to uh, cryptos, we will just touch on oil finally, but we'll just have a look at cryptos. So cryptos finished Friday with a few more uh, pushes lower. Uh, we did see um, new lows put in, but by Ava, um, a few others as well clawed back but did have a flat to a slightly higher session. Um, Bitcoin still remains in this range so it, we are seeing a little bit of buying so far this morning but we are seeing fresh resistance coming in at that uh, higher area here and some of the other bigger currencies in sorry coins in the top 10 like Solana they did uh, push lower but again the weekend trade did save a uh, bit of face for buyers and but they still remain pretty choppy at this stage. So now, just finally, we're just going to finish on oil. Um, now, oil has continued to move higher, and this continues to put pressure on prices. Uh, we are seeing a higher open this morning after another higher close on Friday, which saw, you know, and we're seeing um, 117.60 at the moment this morning, and there is a bit of su dem supply here in this area. Uh, but at the moment, buyers look to be having um, not much issue in clearing levels, and it looks like there is you know, still plenty of momentum in the market at the moment. So we'll see if we can see that next uh, leg up. 
uh, today. Um, otherwise, we'll just see if we do see a bit of a stall at this level at 118.05, but which hasn't been tested yet. So we will be watching to see if buyers can continue this move higher. So that's it for today's update. Please stay up to date with uh, our ongoing analysis that we released during the week and the trade in the zone week ahead analysis that will come out later today. And um, there's no real key news coming out of today's Asian session. So really just be watching and seeing if momentum or, um, you know, from buyers and sellers can uh, switch or if we'll carry on from what we saw last Friday. So that's it for now. We hope you have a fantastic trading week. Um, all the best and bye for now.